This is Brandon from Sweater Cat Designs, and in this video, we'll learn how to create a wavy text effect in Inkscape. Let's begin by switching to the Squares and Rectangles tool and creating a rectangle. Next, we want to cut this rectangle into three parts, while giving a wavy look to each part. There are several ways we can do this, but I find that the easiest way, especially if we want gaps between the parts, is to use the Eraser tool here. With this tool, if we switch to the cutout mode up here, as we click and drag, this red line follows our cursor. And when we release the mouse, any parts of a shape that the red line touched get cut out of the shape. If we undo that, we can also adjust the width of the red line here. And if we increase mass here, this will cause the line to lag behind the cursor, which will allow us to get a smoother result. Another thing we want to do is toggle on this button at the end. This will make the tool perform the break apart path operation on any shapes we cut through. Right now, if I switch to the select tool, we can see that even though I cut through this shape completely, it's still a single object. But if I undo, switch back to the eraser tool, and toggle on this button, now when I cut through the shape, it gets split into separate objects. Let's go ahead and cut through it twice to split it into three parts. Alright, now let's switch to the text tool and click in the canvas to create a text object. For the font, I'll go with something that has thick letters, like Vimeo. Now we can switch to the select tool, scale it up some while holding control just so we can see it better, and move it somewhere inside the top shape. Let's duplicate it by right clicking and choosing duplicate, and move it to the center shape. Let's duplicate again and move it to the bottom. Now we can double click the center text object to switch to the text tool and change the text. Let's change the bottom one as well. Okay, next we're going to use the Envelope Deformation Path Effect to warp each text object into the shape we want. But first we need to select the text object and turn it into a path by going to Path, Object to Path. Now let's open the Path Effects dialog by going to Path, Path Effects, then click this plus button down here, then click Envelope Deformation here. This path effect lets us bend one or more sides of a path. Let's start with the top by clicking this first button next to Top Bend Path. This gives us a green line along the top of the path. We can see it better if we zoom in some by holding Ctrl and scrolling up the mouse wheel. With this line, we can bend the top of the path. However, the top of this shape here is straight, so we don't actually want to bend the top of this text. Instead, we want to turn on Snapping, then grab this left node on the line and snap it to the cusp node at the top left of the shape. Let's snap the right node to the top right of the shape. Okay, let's do the right side next. We can snap this node up here, and this one down here. Let's skip the bottom for now and do the left side. Snap this one up here, and this one down here. Now let's work on the bottom. Let's first snap the nodes into place. Now we actually want to bend the bottom, so let's turn off snapping, and now we can click and drag the green line to bend it. We can also double click the green line to add another node if we want. Alright, let's pan down by holding down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Let's work on the center text. Let's first select it and turn it into a path. Then add the envelope deformation path effect to it. Let's do the right side first. Turn on snapping and snap the nodes into place. Now the left side. Next, let's work on the top. Snap the nodes into place. Turn off snapping and bend the path. And finally, the bottom. First, turn snapping back on and snap the nodes into place. Then turn off snapping and bend the bottom. Let's go ahead and follow the same steps for the last text object. Alright, when we're finished, we can select all three text paths 
and finalize the path effects by going to Path, Object to Path. But we can go ahead and delete the shapes. Okay, that's how we can create a wavy text effect in Inkscape. Thanks for watching, and please let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next one.